Hey guys, um, welcome to day three of prep week. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk about the containers and the meal plan for your workout program. Um, if you have purchased any of the newer programs, 21 Day Fix, 21 Day Fix Extreme, Hammer and Chisel, Size, most likely you have received these lovely um, food containers, which are absolutely awesome. So we're going to talk about those a little bit. Um, and then also figuring out how you even figure out where you are on calorie brackets. So I'm going to be talking about hammer and chisel because that's the program that I'll be doing, but it's the same concept um, no matter what workout program you have. So a couple of things. Um, in your program and nutrition guide, the first thing that you need to do is figure out what calorie bracket you should be in for your meals. So the plan in this booklet is a little bit different than 21 Day Fix. So I had to refigure my containers. Um, they have a point system based on whether you're male or female, how much you weigh, um, current activity level, and what your goal is if you're trying to lean out, maintain weight, or build muscle. So long story short, I'm still in a pretty high bracket. Um, I'm still at a much higher weight than I would like to be, so that's what we're going to be working on. So I fall into plan D on this one. Then I also will find, and there's so much information in this book, um, but you find then the page that tells you how many containers you get for your calorie bracket. Okay, so here's the chart. So for my calorie chart, um, I fall in the 2100 to 2399 calories per day. Um, however, I'm not going to be counting calories, and that's a really important thing to keep in mind here. So with this program, I will be getting six greens, my um, vegetables. I will get four of my purples, the fruits, six reds, which are proteins, four yellows, my carbs, one blue, which are the cheeses or healthy nuts, and one orange, um, like salad dressings, and six teaspoons. So for some people, depending on their calorie bracket, when you get the containers, it seems like the containers are really small, and the concern is, am I going to have enough to eat? Even though I'm on a higher, higher calorie bracket, I find it's very difficult for me to even eat all of my food in one day. But that's the important part, is that you eat the important healthy foods every day that you need. Um, so that's the containers for you. Um, I don't recommend using these to heat up your food or to actually even eat out of. These are more your measuring cups. So instead of counting calories of six carrots or 10 carrots, I'm gonna measure my carrots in a green container. That's one serving and I get six of these per day. If I have a salad, since I have so many servings of greens, I'm going to fill two or three greens worth of salad, um, probably at least one red of protein, so that then I can get everything in. In addition to my containers, daily I'm focusing on drinking my Shakeology. Um, for the past year I've been drinking the Chocolate Shakeology. I switched to the Chocolate Vegan um, just for a one month. I actually really liked it and almost prefer it better than the regular chocolate and I am waiting on my first shipment of strawberry. That's a new favorite. So now I can switch back and forth between chocolate and vanilla. In addition to my containers, my eating, and my Shakeology, find a water bottle that you don't mind carrying around with you. Hydrating um, and getting enough water every day is essential in this program as well. Not many people talk about it, but you really wanna flush those toxins out. So once you have your containers, you know how many you're supposed to eat and what you're supposed to do for the day. How do you track it? No matter what program you're doing, if you get the containers, your program guide is going to give you tally sheets. And guys, if you even look on Pinterest, there are plenty that you can print out and it helps you keep track of how many containers you've had each day. There are also people who buy those um, plastic bracelets, the rainbow color ones that we used to wear when we were little or um, play with and people will wear those and they'll start with all the reds and greens and yellows and purples and blues that they can have per day on one wrist and as they eat them they switch it to the other wrist so you find what works best for you 
But I will tell you, meal planning, meal prepping, knowing what you're going to be eating and figuring it out beforehand is going to be a key component to your success with this program. Um, some people feel that maybe the containers, there's too much for them. The important part is that you're eating all of the containers. You're not counting calories. And that's what really drew me into Beachbody last year is that they had built up this program that I no longer had to count the calories. So now I'm focusing on the healthy foods that I'm eating. If it doesn't fit in the container and it's not on my list, I'm not gonna eat it. So how do I know what goes in the containers? And I feel like I'm jumping all over, um, but there's so much good information for you guys. So um, try to stick with me. In your booklet, you get lists that tell you what kind of foods you can eat for your green containers. I recommend go through and highlight the foods from these lists that you like to eat and stick with those foods when you're meal planning. Um, it is said that foods at the top of the list, like the top 10, are probably your healthiest options compared to the ones at the bottom. So I would want to eat more spinach than I would just lettuce or celery because lettuce and celery are going to be more of the water heavy vegetables. So I'm not going to get as many nutrients as I would with spinach or kale. So you have these pages for each container. Um, in one of the next videos, I will be talking about how do you figure out a meal? What do you do? How do you prep your day? And how do you put it all together? But this is just the iceberg um, tip of it. And so if you have questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks guys.